Okay, so can you add these two square roots without the aid of a calculator? Well, hopefully you can, but a lot of people will not know the answer to this question because they don't understand some basic properties about square roots. And uh, these properties are not that difficult, but if you don't understand them, you will not be able to do a problem like this. All right, so we have the square root of 40 plus the square root of 90. And if you're saying, yes, indeed, I have the answer, that is fantastic. Go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to walk through the solution to this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so I'm gonna show you the answer, but uh, before I do, I wanna say that I'm gonna be making a special announcement uh, during this video, so you're gonna to wanna to stick around. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and see what the answer is. Square root of 40 plus the square root of 90, the correct answer is five square root of 10. All right, so how did you do? Well, if this was an easy problem, and you're saying, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, make your problems more difficult. Well, hold on one second. Let me go ahead and first reward you with a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of adding and subtracting square roots. Because what we're going to be talking about here, of course, is adding square roots, but this applies to subtracting square roots as well. All right, now, if some of you are out there saying, I'm totally confused, well, uh, you will not be confused in a uh, minute or two. So let's go ahead and get right to the solution. And first of all, we need to discuss some basic properties about square roots. All right, so we have the square root of 40 plus the square root of 90. Now, of course, we could go into our calculators and get a decimal estimation, but that's not what we want to do here. Now, for those of you that are taking some sort of math class, maybe like algebra, you don't really work with your calculator in terms of um, finding uh, you know, decimal values of square roots. Now, I'm not saying you don't. That's actually, let me correct that. You do do that, but it's more typical for you to know how to add, subtract, multiply, divide, uh, you know, working with just square roots, i.e. you're going to be putting your calculator away because most of us can use a simple calculator to find the square root of a number. All right, so what's the first property that we need to know? Well, we need to understand that we can break up the square root of a number. Okay, let's take this simple example here, like the square root of eight. We can break up this um, square root problem into the factors of this number. Of course, now we're looking at eight. So we can think of eight as the same thing as four times two. Okay, so the square root of four times two is the same thing as this problem, the square root of eight. But here is the great thing about doing this we have a property of square roots where basically what it tells us that we or uh, we have the square root of these two factors. We can write this right here by um, writing individual square roots over these factors. Okay, so the square root of four times two, we can write as a square root of four times the square root of two. Okay, this is a very, very powerful property. And uh, really, this is going to be the secret to doing this problem. Now, what's the uh, value of doing this? Well, uh, here we have the square root of four times two, which of course is the square root of eight. But now we have the square root of four times the square root of two. We can simplify this. So the square root of four times the square root of two, the square root of four is two. So uh, the square root of eight really, we can write as two square root of two. And we need to be able to fully simplify square roots. And in mathematics, this symbol right here is called radical, a radical. So square roots and radicals. So that some of the properties I'm going to be, um, be talking about also apply to radicals like cube roots, etc. All right. So this is the first thing you need to understand is that we can simplify square roots. And not only can we, okay, uh, uh, we have to. Okay. So in other words, it's very much like, let's say you uh, were taking a math quiz and you uh, gave your final answer like this, one, uh, 100 over 200, your teacher will not like that much. They're going to be like, hey, fully simplify that down to one half. And if you don't, uh, most math teachers will take some points off. Okay, But when we're talking about square roots and radicals, 
you won't be able to do the problem unless you first simplify your square roots. And you'll see uh, this come into play in just one second. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next thing we need to know. And that is something called perfect square factors. So these are uh, perfect squares and perfect square uh, factors. And I'll talk about the perfect square factors part here in a second. But we want to be paying attention to these numbers, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, on and on and on. Because if we take the square root of these numbers, we get 2. Okay, the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 16 is 4. So if we kind of look back in this problem right here, okay, we could see that 4 right here is a perfect square. And it's a perfect square factor. It's a factor of 8 and is a perfect square factor. Okay, so we want to try to take numbers and find perfect square factors. Okay, so numbers like this, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, etc. All right, so these are really the two kind of main things that we uh, need to understand to simplify square roots, but we still haven't talked about how to, uh, how to add square roots, and I'm going to talk about that right now. But first, I'm going to talk about this special announcement. All right, so a couple quick things here. First of all, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I hope that you would uh, consider doing so. This really is a great way uh, to support my work, and uh, really my efforts are about reaching as many people as I possibly can uh, to help them in mathematics. Now, this special announcement I'm talking about is for the next week, okay? I run a sale maybe, uh, sometimes I don't even run it once a year, okay? This is a very special discount. And this particular discount is going to expire on Friday, November 10th, 2023. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start promoting this right now. And this is an active sale. But if you're interested in taking one of my primary courses, and these courses are going to be available, pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and pre-calculus, this is my best work, my best full instruction. These are my full main courses. I'm offering them for this week only at 50% off. Now, all the details um, that will be in the description below, the discount code, the links, and everything else. But uh, this is a wonderful sale, and I want to, you know, basically give people a week to sign up. I get a lot of requests, uh, you know, about uh, sales and discounts, and we do run some uh, modest sales from time to time. But uh, this is by far the best discount you'll get on my uh, main course instruction. So if you want to really get into math and learn math directly from me, well, this is the opportunity to do so. Okay, so let's get back to this problem. All right, so here we have the square root of 40 plus the square root of 90. All right, now that we know about this uh, perfect square uh, factor business, we can uh, take a look at both of these square roots, the square root of uh, 40 and the square root of 90, and think about, hey, can we simplify these? Well, let's think about perfect squares. And here, 40, we can write as 4 times 10. Now, you could also write 40 as 2 times 20, right? So these are two factors of 40 as well, but there's no value in writing uh, the square root of 40 this way because 2 and 20, uh, both of those are not perfect squares. So if you can find a perfect square, that's what you want to do. And you're like, oh, yeah, 4 times 10, 4 is a perfect square. So we're going to think of 40. The square root of 40 is a square root of 4 times 10. Now, likewise, we have the square root of 90, so we can think of that as the square root of 9 times 10, because 9 is a perfect square. Now, hopefully, this is kind of obvious. I made this question, you know, uh, pretty easy, um, because this is kind of a basic level, an introductory level problem. But uh, let's go ahead and finish this up now. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is simplify these individual square roots. So we have the square root of 4 times 10. We can break this up as a square root of 4 times the square root of 10. And the square root of 4 is 2, so the square root of 40 is uh, 2 square root of 10. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the square root of 90, which, of course, is the square root, same as the uh, same thing as the square root of 9 times 10. I can break these up into two individual square roots and get this perfect square factor resolved, right? So I have the square root of 9, which, of course, is 3. All right, so now... Our problem is this, okay, instead of, the, uh, instead of the square root of 40 plus the square root of 90, we have 2 square root of 10 plus 3 square root of 10, and now this is going to be very easy. All right, so here is the rule in mathematics. You can add uh, or subtract two square roots or radicals if uh, these parts right here are exactly the same. Okay, in other words, we have a square root of 10 
and the square root of 10, then we can add or subtract these two square roots. And basically, I want you to think of this as almost like an algebra problem. If I have 2x plus 3x, well, the answer here is 5x because these are like terms. We have an x here and an x here. It's uh, basically identical, okay? You think of this almost as a variable. In other words, are these like, like, like terms, like this situation right here, then yes, indeed, we can add. And we're going to add this just as if we uh, were adding two variable terms. We're going to add these numbers like the coefficients. So let's go ahead and finish this problem up. Very easy. Once we had these two things simplified, we're like, oh, we can add these because these are both uh, uh, square roots of 10. Look, I have two square roots of 10s over here and three square root of 10s over here. Uh, together, we have five square root of 10s. All right, so very important stuff indeed in mathematics. You got to know how to work with square roots and radicals. And, um, you know, if you need help, obviously I have a ton of additional videos on my uh, YouTube channel. But if you really want to learn math, you know, in a fully co comprehensive way, check out my, uh, my courses. This is a great discount. I hope a lot of you uh, will take advantage of it because I only run this thing, you know, maybe like once a year. And what I've done in the past is I've only made these announcements uh, for like one or two days. But uh, here I am going to promote this for the next week so nobody who wants to take advantage of it will miss out. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.